Hi, I'm Darren Powderly with Compass Commercial Real Estate in Bend, Oregon, and I'm pleased to present to you our findings from our Q4 2012 market research survey. Let's start with the office market. Compass Commercial surveyed 205 office buildings, totally nearly 2.5 million square feet. The Bend, Oregon office market has yet to experience any significant recovery in terms of vacancies or reductions or rental rate increases. The citywide office vacancy rate dropped slightly this quarter from 21.3% to 21.1%. The downtown, Highway 97, and west side submarkets all remained steady during the quarter, with new leasing activity and vacancies essentially balancing each other out. 2013 will bring a slight improvement to the office market with vacancy rates dropping to the high teens and rental rates increasing around 3%. That may not sound too impressive, but it's a welcome sign after five and a half years of rental rate reductions. For our industrial survey, 297 build industrial buildings were tracked this quarter. The citywide industrial vacancy rate decreased for the fifth straight quarter for, from 11.3% to 9.6%, the lowest rate since Q2 2007. Since the high of 20% in Q3 2010, we have had seven quarters of positive absorption and two quarters of negative absorption. In Q4, three of the four submarkets gained ground. Bend's southeast vacancy rate fell from 11.1% to 9%, with 33,869 square feet of positive net absorption. The northeast submarket recorded a positive net absorption of 33,253 square feet. And the central and west side submarkets didn't see any significant leases signed, and their vacancy rates remained constant. Let's look at the absorption of office and industrial over the years. Look at the spike in industrial we had in 2012 attributed to 278,000 square feet of positive absorption. Our industrial vacancy rate dropped from 16.7% at the end of 2011 to 9.6% at the end of 2012. We anticipate that this positive trend will translate to a 5 to 7% annual increases in industrial base rents for 2013. Our retail market continues to be the strongest sector. 250 retail buildings were surveyed, totaling close to 4.5 million square feet. In Q4, the citywide vacancy rate dropped to 8.8% compared with 8.4% in Q3. Five of the seven retail market areas surveyed experienced positive absorption over the quarter. One lost ground and one remained the same. Interesting to note, in the early summer of 2012, there were 10 restaurants in the downtown core that were either vacant, for lease, or for sale. Today, there are only four restaurants available thanks to a flurry of restaurant market activity. The Brick House is relocating to the Fire Hall, the Blacksmith Soul, the Drake Diner backfilled El Himidor, Sweet Saigon backfilled Amalia's, a new Tapas and Cocktail Lounge backfilled Bo's Resta Bar, and the Bluebird Cafe and Coffee is opening at Franklin Crossing. One thing for sure, there'll be plenty of new restaurants open this summer to satisfy your taste buds. Let's look at a few noteworthy transactions from the year 2012. Consumer Cellular leased the former T-Mobile call center in Redmond with a promise of three to 400 new jobs. Epic Aircraft purchased the 90,000 square foot former Cessna aircraft manufacturing facility at the Bend Airport with a promise of 40 to 80 new jobs. The Bainey Corporation sold the BMC Sleep Center building on Williamson Way to an investor for 2.1 million, which translated to a 7% cap rate. And it's also very interesting to note that the majority of bank-owned properties that the banks acquired via foreclosures during the recession have been resold to opportunistic investors. Therefore, we expect the lack of available investment in property inventory will put upward pressure on pricing. Thank you for visiting. Please check out our website for more information and for a detailed report of the Compass Commercial Points Newsletter. We look forward to seeing you in another couple of months with a Q1 2013 market update.